Next. Wait. What Who the fuck are you? Take your time. We're not live. All right. So, our guest, what is your name and who are you? What the fuck? Some Russian bullshit? This is Russian. Hi. Yeah, send I in Chris after me. It's Russian. It says send in Chris after me. So what did you think of the match today? You were on the boat stage, if I recall. Fucking was. Weren't you? Okay. Gas <laughs> or bolt? Dial or hold? Next question. Okay. Favorite rifle chambering? It's probably gonna be 760 by 30. It's a conch. It's a conch. The end. The spot rock is full water. No, we're. Oh, God damn it. At least send in Chris. Good help this day. Can't. I thought he was giving it to me. That shit was dope. <laughs> that was pretty dope. It was a full auto layer for sure. Yeah. Was it a badger? Yeah. It looked like. Uh, the fuck? That was weird. Okay, so we're not going to have any more fucking weirdos on the show because that's. Someone just... getting Chris? What? No, weirdos on the show? Somebody needs to. Yeah, pull your pants back up. We definitely need to get Chris on. Hey, man. Yeah. I just whooped some dude's ass, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was their name? Who was that? I don't know. He didn't say shit. All he did was add this on. The ski mask? Yeah, bro. Who comes yeah. to a, a, a hood rat match in a ski mask? That's some serious. Is that that same dude from the boat? <laughs> yep. It was the same dude from the boat for sure. Oh, that's some serious shit. So. What's up, guys? Hey. This is our guest. Uh, so, tell us who you are. Look at that. Sir, are you Paul. drinking on the podcast? Uh, no. Good answer. I like this man. He's trustworthy. All right, so who are you? Uh, I'm the guy that just took care of that guy with the ski mask. There is that. That is okay. the thing. No, really. Uh, my name's Chris. Uh, I own Title II Manufacturing, and uh, these are my two best buddies, and they shoot for us here at Title II, and we're one big happy family. That sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, your hands are really warm. Like, I know. I'm pretty sure you were slow struck right before you came beat in. Beat up a, a hoodlum. A Russian. A Russian. Russian. You heard? Did you see the dude that he was with? So that, that little skinny dude was scary as fuck, bro. I thought it was a girl. I thought it was a girl. Those are the you got to be scared she, of. She, she had this weird mask on. Tattoo. I don't know, bro. All right. So, first question: mm -hmm. Gas or bolt? Both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dial or hold? Depends on what you're doing. Sometimes I dial, sometimes I hold. Depends on the scope. If I run like a one to eight, like we did in the hood rat match 2020, mm -hmm. I held all day and I ran a one to eight. But if I'm using three to 15 or anything higher, I'm lazy. I don't like to hold. I like to dial it and just use my crosshairs. I feel that. Favorite rifle chambering? 22. 22 long rifle? 22 or? long rifle. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Uh, what did you think of today's match? I mean, that's a biased question. It is biased because you hosted the match, but literally everyone who's come in here has been as uh, Let me put it like this. Matches. Let me put it this, right? I wanted to get with a couple good friends and y'all. <laughs> anyway. So we're not good friends, apparently. <laughs> I just said they're family. Yeah, and, okay. Uh, so, okay. That, that, okay, that makes it a little bit better. All right. And, and basically the goal was to introduce something to the community that we haven't really done before. Okay. Have fun all day. We we did we have a fucking blast. That. It we, was a blasting. Yeah. yeah um, so. What is your long range experience? Uh, can I talk about that? Briefly. Um, I met Cam. No, I mean realistically, uh, I was kind of like into shooting long range uh, my whole life, and I never really had the opportunity to do it. About five, six, shit, I have a kid now. That's like eight years ago. Holy crap, we get noble. And so about 10 years ago, uh, I did my first PRS match and I actually came in fifth. 
Uh, I was tied for first until the last stage where I was holding a mill low and uh, I screwed up on a four inch target and I lost. And um, that was my first introduction to long range shooting. And I kind of stopped doing it because I realized that I sucked at a handgun. And I've spent like the last decade learning how to master the handgun. You don't suck anymore. <laughs> I mean, I just, well, it'd be that sometimes. I, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm so, okay. So what are matches that you host or are affiliated with? So right now we are affiliated with a couple of off matches uh, that aren't really advertised a bunch, like the Hood Rat match. Um, we host that as an invite only match. That's this match. So if you have the opportunity to be here, it means you were invited and that that means you're special. He's special. Super special. But, uh, but no, not real, forces. truthfully, all, all jokes aside, we host, uh, we're one of the sponsors for um, Quantify Performance. Mm -hmm. That is the match that is the closest to my heart. And I know that we do a couple of the big matches, but Sniper's Unknown was my, uh, not Sniper's Unknown, but Quantify Performance was my first. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guys that run that match are very close to me and personal friends. So Along with a lot of people here. Like almost yeah. everybody's mentioned quantified performance. And that's just, um, that's something that's very close to me. No matter what, I'll always do my best to honor that. Mm -hmm. And because of that relationship, I've moved into other avenues on like meeting with people like yourself mm -hmm. and yourself. And I've gotten into the, we do the Shaytac stuff together, right? Yep, the, the TRM matches, yep. We're doing the Pantio thing, mm -hmm. right? And we also do, uh, what else you got? The Shay, uh, Sniper's Unknown, Sniper's right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing I'm, all I'm that. I'm affiliated with those dudes because that's uh, Phoenix Strategies and they're kind of, I'll, I'll, and we're a top five sponsor. We're one of our platinum yes, sponsors. Yes, so sir. we are, you'll be able to go to either the Quantify Performance match or the Sniper's Unknown match and win. What, what are they getting, Ken? They're getting a GAT. They're getting a GAT. They are getting a gun uh, on the prize table. Expensive as gun. An expensive gun. A Hayes rifle, actually. It'd be like that. It do be like that. And Hayes is coming up with something cool. What are you working on lately? <laughs> the six millimeter cheetah. That I actually, did. No, we should have said we shot that song. The, the first, the one of the You got a penny? You got a penny? Actually, got a dime because they're smaller than a penny. And that shit was smaller than a dime. So. And that so, thing, dude, I was I was quarter mile away and you went to go shoot that thing after the match. I'm a quarter mile away surrounded by 15 people drinking root beer and eating candy. And all of a sudden you hear bang. 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 It hit hard. Ding. Man. Yeah. We're so, going to sell the shit out of that. <laughs> so. Get yeah. one. Everybody was like already back home basically whenever we started doing like the actual like uh, testing beyond 100 yards of the cheetah and everybody was like we oh heard God. how hard it was hitting the targets we heard how fast your follow-up shots were we heard this we heard that and I was like y'all get to shoot it tomorrow <laughs> and then like all I'd go do was like show them pictures of the shot group at 675 I was just like check this shit out because the shot it was probably like a four inch group it had to, it had to be that or smaller at 675 yards it was insane. Well, let me flip the script real quick. Script. You ever done Chaos of the Lambs like that before? That was interesting. So, Chaos of the Lambs, in case you guys don't know, it's like, uh, as far Fox. as targets, five what targets. <laughs> There's five targets. You go one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, uh, four, four, one, three, one, two, one, and then you're done. That's Chaos of the Lambs. We did it with target stacking. And that's the best way I can describe it is there was there was targets inside of trees. You had to which, shoot between trees. Yeah, you had to like move in it order to be able to see the targets. So it, it was it was interesting to run it that way. I actually had the second fastest time on that stage, if I'm not mistaken. I think all, all in person beat was Scott Peterson. Um, but so anyway, that dude we saw earlier that I beat up in the parking lot, right? Well, didn't we see him earlier today? He were on, that he was he Ashton's were, favorite. He stage. were on the boat. He were on. What the happened boat. on the boat, Ashton? He, he did some hood rat shit. You might want to call him up. <laughs> yeah, he, he, Where did he, he get that gun? <laughs> tell them, tell them what happened. had mine to start with. But he stole it. I think he, he got, got, he got, 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 got that. As, as a Title II gun, for sure. It was perfect. The first gun. <laughs> so, all right. Um, tips or tricks. What is something that gave you an aha moment? Like one of those things that you were like, oh, shit, why haven't I been doing this whole time? Or I wish I would have known that sooner. Kind of thing for long range shooting. Honestly, I wish uh, I would have met Cameron sooner. God damn it. Right? Honestly, having a wife that was willing enough to let me pursue my dream and my passion gave me the ability to be able to go chase my dream and do what I do today. I am now three states away, away from my family and my kids, only due to the support of my wife and my family. And all success, Good. I don't give a shit how cool you think <laughs> you are. I, don't, I know you're cool, but like. Man. Man. 
I got called a dick, and, and he was talking about his wife. So this is our podcast. Have you seen this beard? Have you seen it? <laughs> no. it, is, it is. Seriously, all jokes aside, this is one of my closest and best friends. This is one of my closest and best friends. This and I would not be second. anywhere where I am today without these two guys, without my wife, without the support system I have, without the great guys from Quantified Performance, from Snipers Unknown, from what? TRM, from all the people in our group, from all the people that we work with and we talk to on a daily basis. It is our dream to bring you the Second Amendment, to bring you the training, to bring you the things that you need to advance yourself in this industry. And it also helps me to feel better about myself knowing I can help guys like you. And I'm just a small little dude. I, I, I'm a I'm one man shot. First of all, you're not a small dude. You're like six foot four. No, you got the camera all messed up, man. No, he is like six foot four and like <laughs> 260 pounds. Actually, you've lost weight. Too. I lost weight, yeah. Yeah, so he's lost a significant amount of weight. I was a big um, boy, yeah. Uh, all right, so equipment. What is a piece of equipment that was just a, like, it could literally be a game changer from Armageddon gear or it could be a spread bag. Um, but what is a piece of equipment, please don't say a bag. We've had plenty of people say bag. That was just a game changer for you for the long range, long range shooting. Hmm, that is a loaded question. Um, there are loaded guns and long range I would shooting. say the biggest thing that I mean, I'm gonna rephrase that. The biggest thing that's helped me in my long range shooting endeavors is having, and I'm gonna sound cheesy this, is getting the instruction and the support and the confidence from being able to go to matches like this where normally you'd be intimidated by trying to not do well, right? Most people will be like, I'm gonna go to this match, I'm gonna come in last place, I don't wanna do this because I'm, I'm gonna be ashamed of myself, I don't look good, right? You go to the Quantify, P, the, the QP match, you go to the TRM match, you come to Snipers Unknown, you're shooting bad, you're gonna get off that stage and this dude's gonna be like, hey man, if you just Super move helpful. your trigger, if you just, if you do this, if you do that. So it takes a village, right? Yeah. So I guess the one thing that has helped me and be the one undeniable thing that has helped me become a better shooter is the people that have helped me learn the game. Because you can buy a $20,000 rifle, but he'll shoot you with a Ruger Marion. Facts. I've seen that shit happen. Facts. I did do that. Right. Um, New developments in your life. It could be a new car, it could be a promotion at work. Well, Ashton's a title two sponsored shooter now. That is true. That is a thing. Yeah. Oh, and he's, he do have the title oh, two gun. Oh, oh, oh. That Chris did this paint job. Yeah, this is oh, the sweetest. That's the Swedish M90 camo that we did on his Accuracy International. And she looked good in the sun. Yeah. And Boy, still hit hard. Yeah, ah. shot it. You notice I showed the minutes. right side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a gun showing the right side. I don't know about the right side of the gun. <laughs> um, but anyway, so uh, so as far as new developments, it was uh, we moved into a new shop. Oh yeah, that's right. They moved into a new shop. Like they're grand openings, like two weeks, three weeks. Y'all are close though, right? Like y'all are almost in the same. We're place. moved in. We're gonna have our FFL transferred. Probably about, actually, I'll probably be there by the time I get home. Um, uh, that's still in Sarasota. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're only, we're only a couple blocks away on Ashton. Best, yeah. Oh yeah, they're on Ashton Street. So whenever <laughs> I went to Sarasota to go visit and hang out and do a couple of videos and stuff like that. Every road near his shop was called Ashton, and I was like, that's a sign. Just we so have to sponsor Florida, Ashton. I'm getting one of them signs, all right? Yeah, we're, we're stealing an Ashton sign. So well, we're, we're doing a admitting to a felony premeditated right we're now. We're doing a little bit more than what we used to do. He's talking about cocaine. Well, there do be that. It's Florida, dude. He's not talking about cocaine. I'm not talking about cocaine. Uh, so <laughs> we we're, we used to just be a couple little sales, and we used to, I, I, I built a lot of custom rifles and do a lot of restorations, but now, we got a whole showroom for you guys to come check out. We're advancements and we're advancing in the industry with body armor. So you need helmets, you need body armor, you need medical kits. We got you. You want some training, you want to do some shooting through crowds, you want to do some active shooter stuff. We'll get you to that level. It takes time, but trust me, we'll get you there. Um, you want to build your custom rifle? We got you. What's that other thing that we did? Six months. Six millimeter cheetah, that's right. So you can get you a Cameron Hayes rifle. There's nine left. Get you um, a Hayes rifle we also in six millimeter cheetah. So there was actually, knives, there was Kydex, less. Holsters. We do it all, man. There was less Hayes rifles because we went with the original Hayes rifle that was in 5.56 and 6.5 Grindel. We sold out of those. So now we're in the Gen 2 of Hayes rifles where they're all in six millimeter cheetah. So all, so, and we already sold one. We sold one today. First day of demoing the cheetah already sold a Hayes rifle and six millimeter cheetah. Cash money. Cash money. He, he walked past me while we were doing the podcast and held up the money and was like, sold one. And I was like, yeah. So anyway, Chris, thanks for being on the show. We love you. Thanks for shooting for us, man. Seriously. Yeah.
Do I really gotta go? Because I feel like I'm like part of this now, and I kind of like want to start asking y'all questions. That's cool. We can have a nice. Do you have, do you have a question, bro? You know what? We're gonna do a whole ass podcast, and it's just gonna be Chris on the podcast. Well, that's cool too. But we gotta bring up something else. They don't know anything about the hood rat. We did talk about it briefly. Do they know what the hood rats are? The this hood is, rats. This is your opportunity. We needed a group of people that weren't cranky when they don't make their shot. You ever been out on a golf course with a guy and he misses his putt and he throws a damn putter in the lake? That happens in shooting too. People get mad. Especially we don't go. The PRS guys. I didn't say it. I said it. I will continue. You to know say that it. dude's gonna get mad, right? <laughs> that one dude. That one dude. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, this was the best the, match. It is I a shot he ran that shit with a full gun, son. Yeah. <laughs> and he got better than Uncle Lee. <laughs> Listen, we, yeah, I gotta get more lessons from Lee tonight. <laughs> so oh, Ashton is like back, yeah. forward down. That's how you run a bullgun. In case you guys are curious, it's mm -hmm. up, back, forward, and down. No, there was a uh, last night, two nights ago. No, two, two nights, nights ago. ago. Two nights ago, whenever we first came in here, there was a gentleman here. Uh, He's a general. Yeah, a gentleman here who uh, was trying to tell Ashton, one of the best bolt gun shooters that I know and have ever met in my life, how to run a bolt gun. That particular gentleman ended up pretty much bottom of the pack today in the match. So. That's what he said, up, back, He's like, let, forward, me, let me teach you how to run a bolt gun. Now. Super yeah. nice guy. Cool dude. Nobody, you know. Ashton, oh. Ashton will not say a negative word about anyone. I will. I right, did say your fart stings. Ouch. Ashton, did you really say that? Not to your face. I mean, a fart. I mean, that's why COVID don't matter. Because you think yeah, a fart that comes so out of the pants. So hurts to hear from like, wrong with If you he has a problem with me, he has to come address it with me himself. That's what I'm It's saying. bologna. It's not nothing wrong. <laughs> it smells like bologna. It does. Or Burger King or Nervy. Going catch up. Church. And catch up. Anyway. Chris, thank you for being on the show. We're actually gonna have a whole ass show where we bring uh, Chris onto it while he's gonna be in his new shop. Um, and we're gonna talk more about reloading and stuff like that whenever we bring him onto the show the next time. But thank you for being on. We've got a couple more people to uh, interview and stuff like that. And I think that's it. Hell yeah. Shut the Just fuck so I don't up. forget it. it Go ahead, Ash, do this thing. All right, next guest. Who are you? That's, that's bullet point one. Oh, bullet point one. Um, I'm Scott Peterson. I'm a guy that likes guns. I grew up in South Alabama and uh, spent about 16 years in a couple different branches between the Marines and Army. Shoot a bit of competitively and uh, I don't know, I know you guys. Yeah. I call you friends. So. He, uh, he actually came in first place in my match, the designated marksman match that I hosted in January um, for sniper division, if I'm not. Was it sniper uh, yeah, with the base open or whatever. Yeah, yeah. sniper division. Sniper, yeah. And he actually came in first place in the match today, in the Hood Rats match, and he got a pretty dope ass prize out of it. Let's, yeah. let's it's show pretty impressive. Let's, let's uh, right to that. It, now I will say it's not just my prize. No, you gotta it'll get, be you got to get that all the way up. It'll be down. handed off every year uh, at the Hood Rats match. Title the Damascus two, Steel. Title two made that as well. Got a little. Uh, Get it all up in there. Yeah, up, 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 wrong way. Coin, little coin there Tell for one screw or one beer. Is. So, uh, what's that? Tell them what that coin is. I guess that coin is from the Golden Nugget when it was a whorehouse. It is from a whorehouse. Yep. So it's good for one screw. Pretty amazing. That's probably good for like one screw or one drink. The best thing I've ever won, you know. Um, and I don't even get to keep it except for about a year, maybe. So which that's means, that's pretty which sweet. Means if he loses the next year's match, he's got to give it to someone else, which means he's turning it in for well, one I screw, did. Right? So I did. I did tell screw. Eddie. Um, <laughs> I told Eddie, I, and I, I think this might maybe it should be a thing because we were talking about this morning. Like it, it's not a um, maybe it should be passed off every year. So unfortunately, maybe the winner should not shoot the next year. They should RO or match direct or something like that. Ooh, yeah. So yeah. I think that, that I've already, I already told or off drive the boat. something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So something. So hold, like you hold know, the rope for the zip line, whatever. Like you guys came out for proof stages and, yeah. and set stuff up. So uh, that's right. Yeah, you might be. I think that would be a. a, a I don't think I want to shoot thing. a match where you you are the what the part times are based off of. <laughs> I don't want to shoot another Cameron Hayes match where I got to shoot five paper targets ten seconds. Cause I did it in like 9.8. So. I thought no, it was three seconds. 
It was a song. You had to shoot ten. I don't ten, know. Ten shots in three seconds. I, I was that what it was? I it we, sucked. I remember we proofed that too, and he was like, "Yeah, take a couple seconds off it." Okay. I did it in three <laughs> seconds, and I was like, "Everybody else can do it in three seconds." I don't remember what it was, but it was. It was. I fast. made it within a couple tenths, I think. Yeah, it was so, close. For and Ashley time. was like, by God, you did it. Because I had a four and a half to 27 razor. And I'm like, it's 10 yards. Yeah, I'm glad I rode that match. <laughs> it was not good for a bolt. And then old BJ, who <laughs> didn't show up to this one, she yep. cleans one of the long stages with a four, he, four power eight. He was the only person to clean <laughs> that, that stage. And that was the stage that I got the most flack for uh, on that match. They were just like, oh, that They're was unreasonable. Alternating Time 600 yeah. something yards. Yeah. 550. 550, yeah. Yeah, and, and people were just like, that. the part time was unreasonable. And I was like, okay, I understand. You had to climb a rope, you know, climb up tires to a Connex. Climb shoot. up tires, yeah. It was doable. It I think done. the RO, I think the spotter was shaking too much and probably. missed some of my impacts. I think, I think the spotter definitely had something out. to do with it. I was on point. <laughs> I <didn't> know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so. Next question. What did you think of today's match? Hood rat match. Man, it was awesome. Won. It's uh, Of course you would say that. You won it. Yeah, you came in first uh, place. But he comes in first place. No, I, I've, so I've done okay at some other places, and I was like, I'm never going back here. So uh, that's not a good excuse. No, it's uh, like my match. I didn't say that. I just critiqued you really hard. It's like I just, I just. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hard. Um, I don't know, man. It's uh, it's it's today was like you're having fun, you're hanging out. It brings. I do this stuff a lot, you know, where it costs me money, or you know, I do it like it's almost like a job. And uh, you kind of lose the fun part sometimes. And it's nice to come back to this where you're just having fun. You're like, man, maybe I'll shoot a 22 long rifle the next stage. Maybe I'll shoot a water moccasin with a 22 years, pistol. <laughs> that did happen. You know? A hobby, not a job. Exactly. And uh, when you do it for a job or similar, or you know, you're trying to always be competitive, it's like, it's a, it's a relief, you know? Maybe and like, there's really happens. good shooters here. And it's funny, like all the, uh, that, I don't want to sound bad. A lot of the, uh, several of the really good shooters just came here and like dicked around, <laughs> like you guys, you know. <laughs> like you, like oh, let's just, you know. So I what, literally shot like, stage with a lever action rifle. Yeah, yeah. On so, a boat. Uh, yeah. No, so so like one of the most so it, was, like, it was a lot of fun. Good and genuine people that I run into at matches and stuff like that is this guy. So I've run into him at, at plenty of matches in the past and stuff like that. And he's just always been like, if he sees a new shooter and stuff like that, he's always super helpful. He's always helping people and stuff like that, especially soldiers. Try. And I really Pushing appreciate his own when ammo I see and that. rifles and just yeah. So today, by, by, because I wasn't even supposed to be shooting this match, um, actually it was last night. I had said I, I still can't shoot. I didn't bring a rifle. I didn't bring ammo or whatever. This dude right here provided me with a rifle and ammo to shoot the whole ass match with. So like that was like way far above and beyond, you know, like just like just a stand up dude. Anyway, continue. Yeah, that's what I love about the match too. I, I had planned today just to drone and help and film and I got offered so many And rifles, you did drone. Rifles and <laughs> ammo <laughs> and drone to shit yeah, out today. Oh, went through some his And you kept us cool with the drone blowing air down, you know. Yeah, like, he, he we used it as a fan more than we did as a <laughs> we, film. We brought <laughs> on one of the stages. It was, it was 90 degrees outside, and he was just like putting the drone over. Hovering over, over ROs. Yeah. Spotters, and let his fans off. It was so hot. <laughs> and then there was another part today where he was flying the drone around, and some birds were trying to fight his <laughs> drone. <laughs> I gave, I gave up the fight back to him, though. He did. Yeah, he, he was did. fighting the first Sport <laughs> mode. <laughs> Sport mode. God rest him. No, but to, to kind of sum it up, um, no, it was, it's, it's, you know, it was about 20 guys, 20 of us here. I'd say 20 guys. 17 but, uh, competitors. Um, just having fun, man. Yeah. It's like good old boys having fun, but all everybody's a shooter, mm -hmm. whether they are, like, really good at it or just enjoy it. Like, you're a shooter, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what matters. And everybody should be out here helping each other and providing for each other. That's his point. There's, like... I don't know, it's just, you're here to have fun and learn. All right, man. I think I already know the answer to this, but gas or bull? Ooh, so I've listened to, you know, I've watched some of y'all's podcasts. And, Scott, and, uh, you just watch us through podcasts. Fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's tough, I guess. I guess um, I kind of grew up in the, in the as far as the military is concerned, the gas gun stuff, and it, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't want to be like everybody else, but it's situational. 
<laughs> Literally um, everyone says is, that. Is but gas or bolt is the question. That's the know. whole ass question. You know, um, one or the other. With, the, with all the push, you know, I'll, I'll kind of dive off real quick with it. So with all the advancements and, and stuff and pushing now He's about from, from, a, from some companies out there, yeah, gas <laughs> gun. You know, there's, there's a big push. We've moved on past the horse and buggy. That's yeah. what he's trying to say. Yeah, there's a big push. I, I cool. love running I'm a stick shift. about that then. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I love running a stick shift, and uh, I've, I've done all right with one. And um, He's like, I love rubbing sticks together to make fire, yeah. but a lot I, of it's hey, better. I grew up in Alabama. You know? I, we, we like the hard route. The we're well, we're the gas gun. There's so many things running with gas guns right now, and, and, and guys pushing the limits with them, and you know, kind of test, kind of building them like bolt guns where they're true and stuff and, and bedding things and stuff like that, regardless of everybody's first opinion of how they do certain things. Yeah. I mean, there's companies out there, I'm not, I don't want to name all the companies, but no, you know. No, full disclosure, I've told Cameron, like the right gas gun, I'd swap. Yeah. I'd and swap and that's, that's kind of my caveat. Like, she done looking pretty good. The, the <laughs> she done looking you know, hard. It, it's hard to beat, like, when I got. You know, some bolt guns that are sub third MOA. First guns. thing on my list was like, and my gas guns half, half. six tenths, and you know, he knocked that out of the park today. So, you know. like, <laughs> it did good. Yeah. Like, the gun I shot today was, I was shooting it yesterday with his first rounds down a pipe. You know, with the first, oh, you're, I you're shot a five, a six uh, rounds 15 through 20 were right at half MOA, you know. So, I know today when I had 1.3 on. On the bridge, and I was getting impacts, and he did. And then I loaned it out to somebody. We talk about that. You loaned it out to it. Ashton, actually. See, Ashton only just, likes yeah, bolt guns because he don't know over. how to shoot a gas gun. Them. I think I think the uh, scope mount came loose. Is that what it was? Yeah, so I, think like, I, uh, I think I I think I reached up and tightened it when uh yeah, with, your, when with I, your bare hands when product? I shot it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's QD. Yeah, okay, so, QD. So. so with so with your inferior gas guns, ouch. Dialed also inaccurate. Um. You know, uh, I like holding them. I, 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 yeah, I, I, ooh, yeah, I'm going two hands or one. No, so, um, Light switch, bro. You know, I, I've been running the, um, uh, I got with Vortex a few months ago, ordered up a couple Trimmer 3 Gen 2 razors because um, they were in my budget. It's a great uh, reticle. A lot of guys I know operationally are running it, and I'm like, well, these guys speak my language, so. Maybe I should run it too. So I picked up a couple. They're not maybe the perfect match reticle, but they give you a lot of features all around. So the 59s, 58s, you know, trimmer, the older trimmer twos. But I've been running the trimmer three lately and holding. You know, you got your wind dots, you dial your gun out. You know, I got a four mile an hour gun. I know wind. It's easier for me to cross reference MOA and mills. I'm like, that wind is this speed. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to really think of like, what is that in minutes or what is that in mills? Or I don't have to go back and forth. I just say miles an hour. And generally, it's it's impact, you know, or 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 I'm okay. I know that I, I was wrong in my mile an hour because I know this gun is this, yeah. you know. So if I hold four and I watch the trace go to eight, I'm like, I'm off of my wind call, yeah. you know. And uh, that's where so you have holding, to be honest with yourself, yeah. As a shooter. You know, we did we had six stages a day. I held for five of them, and I only dialed on the last one. I don't really know why I dialed on the last one. Just, just to do it, I think. I it, there was no reason other I didn't have to. Did you clean it the last day? I did. Okay. I did. And um, I just. Targets went out to they were, they were 200, 400, 600, and 650. So it's like exact. You know, I just dialed. Uh, there was no reason for me to dial. I didn't have to. Yeah. Uh, I just did to just kind of break up the monotony of the day. I get it. Yeah. But uh, you're, you're with gas gun, you just want to go fast. You want to hold. And. Um, you know, as long as you kind of have a general idea how to use that reticle, you don't really get lost. You, you focus on what you're supposed to focus on. Right. People say, oh, they're so busy. But really, they're not. You know, once you get there, sometimes you might miss splash or something because of gridded reticle or whatever. But as far as, like, your aiming points, four mils and one mil right, well, bam, it's a calculator. You find a ruler and you, you shoot it, you know. And it's, I think holding's the way to go. It's the future. Holding. Gas guns and holding, right? Is that what you wanted to hear? Yes, that is what I wanted to hear. All right, next. Favorite or rifle chamber? Ooh, man. He's about um, to be like 338 Norman Mag. No, nah, 308. Yeah. Winchester. Hey, <laughs> the, hey, our, the running joke for me is that what we call the 7.62 Schmagnum. It runs 220s at 3,200 feet per second, just inside the PRS limit. Uh, no. Um, what the shit are yeah, you doing? Yeah, it's a long story at a PRS match. Uh, All right. Yeah. So uh, like running a lane I cord load with a long ass barrel and such yeah. that you were breaking. <laughs> no, it was made up. I was really just shooting 175 308 at 2770. That's pretty average. And, yeah. Um, 
Damn, my favorite cartridge. I don't, I don't have one, man. You know, like he shoots them all good. There's some um, application. I understand. Yeah, I, I won't even say application. There's everybody's. Here's my thing. Here's what I'll say. Like one, find something within your budget. Whether the gun, not just the gun. Everybody's like, what? What guns in my budget? What about ammo? Is ammo two dollars a round? Is it seventy cents a round? Whether it's two twenty three, six millimeter Creedmoor, six five Creedmoor, three hundred eight, three three eight normal Win Mag, whatever. Three hundred, you know, find something that fits your budget. They're all gonna. You can all find accurate ammunition for them, you know. Um, but find something that fits your needs, your budget, your di the distance you're gonna shoot, the recoil. If it's kids, so you adult. Long term with barrel life. And you know, barrel life. So yada, yada, yada. yeah. So like, you know, if you want barrel life, stay away from the six millimeter cartridges. Yeah. Look at the six five Creedmoors and the two sixty Remingtons That's or four. You know, people. Samples ostracizing for 308 it's outdated but like you get thousands and thousands of rounds you get a lot and you it's a learning curve you get to learn things uh, we had a guy here today shooting 155 grain sierra match kings at 20 almost 3,000 feet per second but he'll still get six seven thousand rounds out of that barrel life whereas that six five creek more lasts half that yeah. and he's running just the fast uh, not quite as high bc but for 700 yards and in, he's crushing it yeah, um, he was he, that literally crushing. You know, I hate to jump on the, the Creedmoor bandwagon, but man, like six five Creedmoor, like you can kill with it, you can shoot a match with it, you can shoot a bolt gun in it, you can shoot a gas gun in it. I agree. A, a twelve year old can shoot it, and a seventy two year old can shoot it. You know, it's not high recoil, and, and you can go buy it for a dollar round. Yeah, six five Creedmoor is pretty. Uh, you know? For the long range game, being a thousand yards and in, I would say like six five Creedmoor is really hard to beat. Yeah, and, or or you know two sixty. The problem with two sixties is it's hard to find ammo these days. It was kind of a you find the lighter weight projectiles more for hunting, but whereas it's kind of a, they marketed six five three more. Bam, there's one thirty one forty grain yeah. match ready I'm ammo. I, I tell people, you know, that, and yeah, if, so, if you want to buy your ammo off the shelf, then 6.5 Creedmoor. If yeah. you're a hand loader, I say go two sixty. Yeah. I'd say a, a, a short action six five variant or. 308, you know, it's a good start. 223 can be good, but uh, you know, an AR that you, you learn a lot, you shoot six, seven hundred yards accurately. Yep. You know, and everybody loves an AR. Home defense so, or the how about your long range experience? You won the match today. Yeah, and sure. you won my match, sure. and uh, you won, uh, like, just like. Yeah, those are more mid range, right? It's like I, I win all the matches. No, no. Um, you know, I've, I, I've shot some. some Service rifle, high power, NRA, CMP stuff. I've shot Palm. I've shot full bore, international and national stuff. You know, I just, I, I kind of dabble. In, I've shot PRS. I've shot the, the gas gun series type stuff and the DMR matches and the sniper matches from uh, Bushnell. And uh, I've, I've RO'd Mammoth for a couple of years. Haven't shot it yet. Um, but I, re I really want to. It's just, it's finding the right partner. Sometimes tough. You guys work well together. Yep. Um, but find a good partner you can suffer for three or four days with and, and suck it up. But, uh, you know, I've shot a little bit of everything. I, I, I like to be a jack of all trades. I'm not the best at one thing. I, I think I'm pretty decent at a lot of things. And it, it helps me communicate to the new shooters. Like I love offering up the stuff that I'm fortunate enough to have. And I love offering the, the knowledge that I've been fortunate enough to have bestowed upon me. So. All right, matches you host or are affiliated with? Um, plug Mammoth. <laughs> there um, you go. No, uh, no. I, I don't host any. I would love to. Um, there's a in the future. We're um, so a couple people I'm in the know with. We're looking at doing maybe some 22 matches, maybe even affiliating them with 22 the NRL. Uh, we don't know yet, but we're going to be we're going to start off slow. Um, we have some property. I'd say I, we. Uh, a, a, a gentleman we know has some property, and we're gonna. He wants us to host some stuff at his his plan. There's a few more opportunities coming up. I don't want to get anything just out there because I'm not 100. Okay. Um, but we're we're kind of like the 22 stuff because it's 22. Anybody can come out. You, you can do it at 100 yards. There. You can do it at 300 yards. It's quick. You know the targets are cheap. It's a great. Uh, it doesn't deter people no. from spending thousands of dollars. Everybody thinks they got to spend thousands of dollars to get in this game. You can do it with 22. My, that was my kid's first match at like nine. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, when we were all, you know, 30s and 40 year olds or younger, it was the air rifle stuff, the small bore, like ROTC stuff, and the, the local 4H. 
it's yep. the same premise. Right. Now you're kind of reaching out a little bit and stretching that distance. It's funny you mentioned four um, H. Nobody ever mentioned. I was I was in four H and uh, I shot the uh, twenty two. Uh, like we shot clays with the twenty two or whatever. That's that, cool. That was awesome. I, I thought you were gonna say like you had the winning pig or something like That's Charlotte's right. Web or something or okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, but, I look like that's all I'd be good. You at. know, uh, uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, I'm a big team match guy. I love the team matches. The Bushnell uh, shot Bushnell for the first time this year. I know Ashton and and, and uh, Cam have shot it with various partners and stuff. Uh, we, Mammoth, we didn't shoot it together. Yeah, Mammoth Sniper Challenge is is a good one that's been picked up by a different. Um, uh, group of owners now it's i've already for the past two years it's been awesome i've enjoyed it i love seeing the competitors come through seeing them hate life and seeing them happy you know getting hits yeah, mostly hate um, life, when you shoot some, with someone else when it's just not you you got to rely on it seems like people put more effort into it That's you right. know and uh, i think the team matches are where they go but uh so mammoth uh, any of them i mean if you're in the service Reach out. Marine Corps got the division matches and Marine Corps championships. The Army's got all of our small arms championships. There's Fort Benning multi gun. Uh, the Navy does the Navy and uh, fleet matches up in Quantico. I mean, there's so many things that you can get into if you don't know uh, for that stuff. Police do all kinds of stuff. They do sniper comps, they do stuff in Florida. Um, I mean, there's just a lot of venues out there. Civilians, Google, man. You know, reach out. I, mean, I don't want to affiliate myself with one. There's so much good stuff out there. Is there any uh, tips or tricks you want to give the viewers for getting into matches? Getting into matches. Do it. Uh, I don't care if you have a gun. Nike. I don't even care if you don't have a gun. If you're like, that's a thought, Google something, Facebook, whatever. Find a, a shooting group, ask questions, let people make fun of you. Who cares? Show up. You don't even have to have a gun. Just drive out there. There's no match fee. You walk up and you watch. You ask questions. Don't be afraid. A volunteer to uh, range officer a match, yes. whether you're a scorekeeper, even if you're just punching numbers in an iPad or writing them down on a piece of paper, that is, I've, I've helped, you know, I've talked to so many people over the years that started shooting and then they're like, I ROed a match. And I'm like, I learned so much more from ROing and scorekeeping, watching those 30 to 150 people come through a stage, how they position, how they position themselves, how they run a bolt, yep. how they, you know, I've run their gas gun. Couple good buddies now that came to me, never shot a match. How do I get into it? I'm like, go RO. Exactly. I'll you know, teach you how to RO, and they came back and they're like, you know, I'm you totally, find me on Facebook. I've so you know? much. You get to see 50 to 100 shooters do something the same thing a different way. Yep. All day long. You, I know you reach out to any of us on social media, yep. and we'll set you up somewhere. Probably more so in the southeast, but uh, it's somewhere in the country and get you involved because just show up. I mean, like I said, I'm people help me, so I try to help other people with guns and stuff, and that just happens. You know, it's just a circumstance of like it worked out this weekend. But there's so many people out there that bring backup guns or third guns because they're very fortunate enough to be able to afford that stuff, and they are more than happy to the loan it out and just have you just in case they need to loan it out yeah, for it, yeah. exactly i mean i know there's companies the out there ask. yeah there's companies out there that bring extra scopes and whole yeah. guns and it's just show up you never know you might be in the match is there any equipment you want to recommend for a new shooter that you love or new shooters or just something that that you don't leave home without man um you can name a brand but a rear bag. It can be a sock of sand or buckwheat. Mm -hmm. It can be the, the game changers. BBs. Yeah, airsoft BBs, the yeah. game changer bags of any feel, the wee bags and stuff. I mean, I personally use the game changers. Doesn't mean you have to. Uh, the Sprad bags uh, out of Florida. Uh, Jordan Spradley makes some bags. I mean, there's so many things out there, but you could take the biggest boot sock you have or go to Walmart and buy the cheapest and double them up, fill them full of sand, tie knot in them. Zip time, whatever you got to do, show up. A lot better you got that. a gun, it could be the cheapest thing and a bipod. You know, like, and it could, you know, it's the cheapest bipod, whatever you can afford. But a rear bag, because it can be used for, not just rear bag, it can be used for front bag, rest, all kinds of stuff. There's so much stuff you personally use. You know, Sniper's been using them for what, 40, 50 years? A while. You know? So. <laughs> all right, to wrap it up, any new developments in your life? Be a promotion at work. It can be uh, you know, a um, vehicle, anything. I just be win a no bass sword. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I was gonna say like you know the uh, machete. Well, I, yeah, I do have a new cheese knife. Like, oh <laughs> yes, I do have a new cheese knife. You know, no, I mean, uh, meeting the uh, meeting new people this weekend. Yep, 
Right, you know, so. like that's uh, you know, I shoot the quantified performance matches, I shoot gear matches, I, sh I you know, I, I, tr I try to get out and shoot more than just like what is the the main things I focus on for competition, like primarily, and I get out and experience more things. I meet new people from all aspects of life, from all experiences of shooting, and that's to me what kind of that keeps me around. You know, if it wasn't for that, I'd be like, this is, I'm tired of this, and I want to go race go karts or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just meet new people, and cool people. That sounds dope too. So, and you know, guys make their rifle cartridges. Some guys do hood rat shit. You know. They did that. <laughs> yeah. So, eh. Fly drones. I mean, that's that's some coordination. People do things. Even some of it is auto, right? No, not literally not today. Today. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. He do it. Well, he fanned me off today, so yeah. he gets a lot of press. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all came close to getting chopped up a couple times. I just <laughs> just, we heard it. <laughs> you. We were like, "Where'd that go?" I don't know. Don't, don't, don't even worry about that. There's no safety well, in it. Well, <laughs> to, to be honest, the drone almost got shot a couple times today. Not by me, but some of we have it's probably we good thing it didn't, right? D class shooters out here some today. Day, <laughs> oh, come on now! Everybody just starts somewhere. Um, depending on how Jordan edits his video, I almost hit some people on that boat a couple of times. That's true, too. Well, like, whenever, whenever you were, like, flying the drone close to the target, I was like, I was like, hey, Ash, you see who's about to shoot? And then he would, like, back the drone up. And then whenever it was my turn to shoot, he was like, hey, you see my drone near, near the target? And he, like, flew the drone super close. And then, like, I shot my first shot and missed, and I just see that drone, like, drift back. <laughs> like, like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that drone did it do the DOD honk? Probably. You back up, it, the in my mind, honk. it did at least. Yeah. But anyway, we really appreciate you coming on the show, oh. man. And uh, awesome job to have your match. Thanks awesome. for letting me use the gun. So, so I have a question for you guys. Oh, oh no. Yeah. We're not, we didn't rehearse this. Oh. Uh -huh. Part of the show. Uh -huh. Do you love me? <laughs> Are you playing your love game? <laughs> Are you playing your love? So, so you asked me your last question was, uh, you know, what's, what's new and what's exciting or what's coming up in you guys' life? So, Let's hear from you guys, you know. We hear a lot about everybody else you guys have come on. We don't hear much about you guys. Well, Other than your sponsors. Yeah, I do talk about my sponsors. No, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty much for me, it was like, I hate that I really didn't have anything to do with yesterday. Like, everybody was doing stuff yesterday. Like, we, everybody was proofing stages and hanging out and having a good time and stuff. And I was so engrossed in getting a good, solid uh, load for the 6mm Cheetah that everybody else could run tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That I was just like, hey, I can't do this. You know, like, so, like, everybody had to just kind of go off. And I felt, you know, I felt kind of shitty, and it was my birthday, yeah. you know, like so, like everybody else. You was, had cupcakes. With I did. I did get cupcakes with sprinkles because they're for winners, and uh, I, I won being, you know, getting my birthday. Um, but yeah, so like I was, I was trying so hard to work up a load that was sub MOA or better, which it ended up being half MOA. Fuck yeah. And well, uh, and I ended up getting twenty seven hundred yeah. feet per second out of it. You can say fuck, it's fine. <laughs> and uh, and then like I got the load worked up and I loaded up fifty rounds and I was like, that's what we're shooting on Sunday. <laughs> that's so, it. Like, so I you get. everybody gets two shots and I'm just like, Yep, now you know. Now you know what's so great about Cheetah, you got two you shots. You don't let them shoot three because they might get happy about the small group they shoot, right? Yes, that's true, that's true. But you said if you if two rounds are touching, that's I like, don't shoot a third. Yeah, don't shoot a third. You leave it leave session. it out there. People are like shoot ten rounds. I'm like, eh, I'm good, I'll shoot the next one at I don't know. 800 yards. Shoot one <laughs> one shot group. Just one shot group. That way my group is always 243. What about you? You were telling me earlier you had a what, twin 12 year olds? Yeah. They're they're, they're not new. They're 12 years they're, old. Well, they're not they're new, wild. but you know, I mean. They've been getting a lot of fishing lately. So. Fishing? Yeah. They got to be coming up where they're like ready to run daddy's 260, huh? Uh, yeah. they, they've been asking about competitions lately. I, I let them, like you said, the 22, I let them do that around yeah. eight or nine. Did their first match, and they were too young to have the patience to wait for the next <laughs> stage. So they were climbing, climbing berms and shit. Yeah, so it was like, all right, I'll back them off and wait for them to ask. And they they actually fought it up beginning of this year. So that's all. Awesome. Not the two sixty, but I've got, <laughs> I've got that two two three. There yeah, you go. He, he has a uh, Remington seven hundred, which I, I did do a, a YouTube review on, yeah. um, and he said that what he had mentioned, and it, this goes back to the camaraderie thing. Um, he had mentioned that his kid, that it was going to be for his kids to shoot in competition, and he didn't have glass on it. So I gave him one of my uh, one of my SWFA one to tens, or uh, my SWFA fixed ten power. Fixed ten. That's yeah, I had great starter scope. Yeah. Or that scope. great yeah. scope. I don't yeah. even say starter scope. Uh, I had, dry fire it all the time. Like yeah. Every time I'm practicing, they go get mine out to save that. Yeah. I've watched a guy shoot an FTR match at a thousand F class match with a ten X yeah, and do well. Awesome. 
you know. I, so. I've, I do a lot of scope tracking tests and stuff like that, and every single SWFA scope that I've gotten has had a 0% scope tracking error. That's their fixed 10 powers, which is you know, both of their fixed 10 powers, uh, their 3 to 15, uh, they're five to twenty-five. I've never had anyone that had even a one percent scope tracking error. So they're, they're, they're awesome. You can get them through them, or uh, I think they, I think SWF has uh, scopelist.com. Is that their? They they have like demos and budgets. So I think that's pretty. I think that's through SWFA. So don't ostracize me if it's not. But we're gonna yeah. ostracize you regardless because that's right. the only thing we can hold against you, besides these thighs. Anyway, thanks for being on the show. Thanks, we guys. Yes, thank great you. People. Thank you for uh, asking. About thanks us. for the podcast, and thanks for uh, everything you guys do. For shooting today. He's such, he's such a good person. He's so good. He doesn't. We don't deserve Scott Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was probably a four.